Now, our dynamic DIY duo are still back together, which is really nice. What handy, hip t what handy hips we got? <laughs> what Make handy up. tips have you got Very for us today? Ele aluminium joinery time. Oh, okay. Right, because it can look quite ugly, aluminium joinery. Well, it can, and, and there's, a, there's a process to cleaning it and looking after it. And to be fair, this is not just dealing with your old aluminium joinery. Right. Well, my past not. I'm talking a bit of DIY today, Alex. It's, okay. Well, I know, it's, it's shocking. It is. It's yeah. quite shocking. It's like the Earth is turning on its axis the wrong way around. The axis, the world has changed. Okay, so we're going to kick off with me. So okay. how do you clean it then? Right, okay. The key here is just to use warm, soapy water. Okay. Oh, it was tough. And not too much. Well, no, because people think, seem to think you've got to go and get lots of heavy industrial cleaners in there. Not a good idea. This can damage the aluminium joint. It can damage the rubbers. And to be fair, it just makes it a, a messy cleanup. Please don't use Scotch Brite pads. Okay. Uh, that's special. Yeah. I've seen that done. <gasps> what happened? I've seen well, that done it. myself. Um, where on my front door now, which is two big sliders, um, th there's polished marks okay, across the front. Okay, there's an example there. Well, there, there's no. Well, that's that's restoration of it. Yeah, well, this is dumb though, isn't it? Oh, you can use a Scotch Brite on anything. Well, no, you, that, you can't use a Scotch Brite to clean clean your doors. You can't scrub. No abrasives. Okay, don't get Jif. Jif's right. bad. Okay, Just simple tips. soap and water. Now, sometimes you're going to get things like uh, cement on your windows as well. This is if you've been pouring or you've got a bit of a new build. You know, you need to be careful with how you remove cement. Okay. So if it's on the glass, you probably want to use a razor blade and very carefully get it off. Take your time. Don't scrub it off with a scotch no, brush. Okay. please don't. <laughs> okay, oh, so I'm not finished, Mike. Okay, always got more. Okay. <laughs> yes. now, He's taking this very I seriously. I, I need to tell because this is my important part, this is yeah. all about things that you can do at home. Now, okay. please, um, you know the little attachment with the brushes and the bits that people use for cleaning their yes. cars? Mm. Feel free to use that on the tracks. Oh, um, yes. yeah. From time to time. I mean, it doesn't really hurt to actually get in there <laughs> and service your stuff. So give it a vacuum, give it a clean. A little bit of work periodically saves you a lot of work, which Alex right. is going to cover off soon. Service your joinery. Service your Got joinery. It. Look, I can see there just how good it's going to come up if you maintain and you clean. And what service. about, and service, yes. yes, what about replacing the rubbers, Alex? How do we well, go they, about that? They, they will perish because they are rubber and they get all the elements. So what you do is you're, you're, there's a metal bar which you can basically flip out. Yep. And be careful, don't take them all out at once because otherwise the glass is coming with you. Okay. Right. But do one section at a time and you basically cut a length of rubber, which you can buy at Para Rubber, somewhere like that, and it just comes on a roll, so you buy as much as you need. Uh, cut it, put it back in, flip the bar back in, do the rest of the window piece by piece so that it doesn't fall out. Okay, that's very sensible it's advice. Really simple. What about bringing it back to life? If you've yeah. got your aluminium, you've cleaned it the right, correct way, mm -hmm. uh, and you service your joinery, what do you do to bring it back to life and make it look good again? Well, you can, if, if it's okay looking, there's, there's a product called Everbright, which will, it's a polymer and it'll keep it looking nicer for longer. Mm -hmm. um, but then if you've kind of got that old rough look and it's mm. no good. Or what about, yeah, okay, yeah, 70s. Yellow. It looks yeah. like the 70s, all those colours, those oh, different colours. And oh, just, and I hate ugh. the green ones too. The green one. Green. No, no yeah. offense, anyone's got green aluminium. Oh, no, no, plenty of offense. Green. <laughs> oh, you like that? Oh, yeah, I hate yeah, it. That, yeah, that look. That peach. was very 90s. Whoever, whoever thought having anything peach in your house oh, was a good yes. idea. Everybody's mm. Nana. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Especially on the outside where everyone can see it. Oh, I love my peach. Whoever said that, but people did. Your Nana did. Your Nana did. But you can't paint it yourself and go for a new colour because no matter, I, I'm, I will always go for the DIY option if I can, but it will just look awful. It will just look dreadful. You can't get it right. You've got, um, you're gonna, if you mask it, it's gonna be a bits where you mess. It's just gonna be awful. You can't just stick that really cool stuff that you can paint on to surfaces, that resin product that you paint on anything and you can paint over it. No, because okay. it just won't work. Okay. You, you, you don't really do? want to be brushing it. You no, okay. because you'll end up with brush marks. It's like brushing your car. Yeah. That yeah. would be a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, it just doesn't right. work. Um, you can get it done. You can get a man in, right. uh, mm. which is the, the only option here. Uh, much as it pains my DIY um, sensibilities, you actually have to get someone to do this and say for your average three bedroom single story home because you're not getting scaffolding and bits and pieces mm -hmm. like that done it's going to cost you sort of seven to nine grand to do Ooh, that okay it's an investment mm -hmm. but, uh, but we saw the results before yeah. i think it makes an incredible difference it does it? and if you were going to completely replace all your windows then you're looking at at least 30 right and that includes all the all the building work you're going to have to do to repair the fact that you're taking out your windows mm. so you're going to have to fix cladding you're going to have to paint the, the wooden window frames inside uh, maybe replace um, other bits and pieces within the window. So quite expensive. So for that sort of 79 grand, if yeah. you are going to actually think, I need my house to look nice, or you're getting it ready to yeah. sell it and no one's going to buy your peach window right. frames, that's not that bad. No. Okay. And um, as always, I hear it's quite cost effective to get a man in to do absolutely everything. Well, uh, it's to be fair, if you need your latches changed, yeah. there are companies that will come in, fix the broken latches, 
tidy up all the windows mm. for you. And last time I got a whole heap of latches done. It cost me about $160. Oh, okay. there we go. I mean, it's pretty nice. cost effective. So that's pretty good. You can buy the latches at most ten, you know, it's 20, 30 bucks a latch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you're yeah. nervous, you can get a man in to do it. Otherwise, that was some great tips. Look after your aluminium. You can get a lot longer lifespan out of them. It can change the look of your house. Thank you so much, boys. Welcome. Thanks no problem. Us.